Hi guys, welcome to another Old Bike Gaming Let's Play and sorry, Snare's not with you this week because his PC went pop. He thinks it's a MOBO problem, which is going to be expensive, poor bastard. So I, like the hero I am, have stepped into the fray and have taken up this week. Because, like, who else is going to do it, right? Hmm. Anyway, so what we're doing is we're going to do a two-part series and it's going to be on Abandoned Ship. Now, Abandoned Ship is best described as Pirates with FTL. It's FTL but with pirates, gar, things. So let's get in there. Don't be too far. Let's just go with me. And I'll start my timer, which I always forget. So yay me for not forgetting. I will be filming these back to back, so no worries. I do have more than one show, okay? And we do easy because that's how I roll. But, but it's also a fucking hard game. I've played this once before and everybody died. Okay, a wild chaos, the birth of a monster. Of course, not chaos. In that moment, the final strand is cut, a burst of clarity. The horror of your recent existence dawns upon you. Escape is all you can think of. And ice cream. The tentacles flail wildly in the water. Hmm. Very Japanese. People drop to their knees, some through fear, others through adulation. Their god is manifest. You watch from your position of privilege on a private balcony. You notice your two bodyguards are distracted and enraptured. Strike them down! Flee this accursed place! Instinctively grabbing something, you smash it down on the head of the first guard. Shock, surprise, registers on the second before he too is down. You're unsure whether they're dead or unconscious. You feel a drip from your fingers. You look down at your improvised weapon, a small idol of father. It is cracked and has cut your hand. You are drifting, but something inside snaps you back to reality. You have to move fast. The sails offer the safest route to freedom. Flee. You stride in the prison with feigned authority, no matter. The place is unguarded in our, no, their, moment of triumph. Escaping alone will be futile, so you grab the keys from the guard room and approach the prisoners. Who will you unlock first? Okay, so you basically get to pick your crew. And you can see there's five classes, which don't really seem to do anything other than they start off with better skills in their different dis facilities. Oh, and the medic has an extra bit on as well, I should say. So you have navigation. Go and see what that is. I think it has... Oh, reload. There you go. So that's gunnery, basically. That's repair, and that is melee. So you have the melee combat as well. And on here we also have for the surgeon, the rare witch can heal other crew, only surgeons have the heal skill. So, yay. So, I can take a dab again, because he's right here as well. A gutter, which is obviously yay. And a marine, I think. We can fill it, you get other crew members later on and fill them in. And you see, being the severed one, totes better than everybody else at everything. Nice. You and your new companions search for the labyrinthine passages, Finally, a door, light, a door, light seeps in through cracks in the frame. Burst through the door. You close your eyes for a moment as the sea breeze brushes your face. Looking down the winding path ahead, you see what you had hoped for, a ship at anchor. It was likely stolen, repurposed by the coat. Time to put it to better use. It's my boat. Select my crew. Damn it, I should take that off. Move crew, right click, blah, blah. Everybody on board. Wee, wee. Right, cut the ropes. You can go cut that one, and I shall cut the other. Off they go. One down, two down. Right, we need to man the wheel, so navigator boy, do your navigator thing. There he goes. And we're away! Should be some sort of side effect for that, I guess. Dozens of furious guards charge at you as you pull away. A high priest at their head, his scream reaches your ears and drips with scorn. Heed me, betrayer! Our father knows and sees you always. You will never escape his embrace. Sounds rather keep them fluffy for a cause, but there you go. As he speaks, the other cultists disperse, no doubt to begin their pursuit on their own vessels. They'll be sending ships after us. Let's get out of here. Fistful of fire, ship loose jetty, mortar shells incoming! 
That's going to teach you us how to repair. As I mentioned about. More shows producer crew members zero help when this happens, you have a short time to stabilize them. When a crew member is stabilized, they will remain unconscious throughout the battle, but will survive. If you do not stabilize like lies yeah, I haven't started drinking yet, it's weird. Then it's time. They will die, but don't worry, in this one instance we will freeze the bar before it runs out. Right, gunnery man, go up, help him. Help him. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, so you've got your little subsystems there, you can see the old world's a bit damaged, which is why the navigator is sorting out. Barrage, this damage the ship hull, in the bottom left of the screen is a bar that shows the whole hull. This bar is empty, the ship will sink, that is the green one. Lovely. The bottom right of the section, the individual health displayed section of influence and performance, everything in that section. Yellow health means that it's 50% effective, red health means it won't function at all. And that's, uh, is the cells need some repairing. Yes, they do. There we go. Lovely stuff. Barrage also injured one. The crew, crew have can be seen in the icon above the head. You can heal crew by sending to the sick bay medical table. So it's you and you. Very much like the sick bay in FTL, as we can obviously see. Super FTL like. And yes, you can actually buy new ships at like ports and stuff. There we go. He's, all done. He's actually repairing it now. It's not over yet to take cover. You're on a fucking boat, mate. Where do you expect us to take cover? Oh, good. Started flooding. We hit by a weapon that causes hull cracks. He splinters the deck. He splinter the deck and make the ship take on water. I should stop reading things. There is a water gauge above the hull health. If this reaches the top, the ship will sink. The new blue one. But warn you when your water gauges reach critical levels, the bell will summon your whole health is dangerously low. Act decisively when you hear the bell, you may sink. Right, so let, let's get our boys sorting out the whole breaches. Don't want to be sunk from water. We'd much rather a nasty monster kill us all. Okay, and then we can pump out the stuff. By stuff, I mean water, obviously. Beautiful. Okay, a little bit damaged, but okay. We're near range. One more barrage incoming. Oh, great. Have a look at these pictures. Ah! <laughs> Something I said there just tripped uh, my Google Assistant. I have no idea what's going on anymore. None at all. Clock, please. Thank you. Stop listening to me. Creepy. We've been struck by a weapon with flaming ammunition and a fire has broken out. Fire has damaged, fire has damaged sections and injured crew. They will spend, spread initial crew extinguisher. All right, let's, let's, go, let's go do that. Yeah, go on, matey. I think our unconscious guy is actually in the fire. <laughs> no, 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 not that. Thank you. Honestly. There we go, all out. He's repairing something. We're out of range, but stay alert, men. Flee! Click the highlight button to get to see exploration map. Okie dokie. You're in great danger when you're so close to the cold fortress. Leave the area quickly. Okay, I must admit, this is probably the most boring part of the game because you just like go around uncovering the map, but it appeals to my OCD having like uh I'm like, oh, must clear everything. But there's a gate. No, no requirements on that gate, so we cannot use that. Yeah, look down here, it's locked. It wants us to go south. It always wants you to go south from here, so I guess we'll know where we'll end up going. Oh, booty! Let's get the booty. And yeah, 22 coins. A bit of care and you can get some money. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can see the whole map by clicking on the highlight button. Let's click on it so it will stop bugging us about it. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it clearly wants us to go that way. We should travel anywhere. You must move through the gate that has been highlighted at the bottom of the screen. The other gates cannot be opened yet. And now we go back. Whee. 
Then we go to the gate at the bottom, that uses the button to view the whole map if you need to remember where it is. It, it's at the bottom, which you just said that. Bottom. I'm more interested in finding some more monies. Monies is good. Sorry, I'm letting my OCD get carried away. I'm like, must get every square inch of map revealed, which actually is a detriment later in the game because you do get uh, a timer bar come up down the bottom. And if it fills up, you get attacked by something nasty. Although you will get attacked by something nasty, regardless of the status of that bar. And yes, that does include the big bastard Kraken thing that uh, you managed to raise with your dark brothers at the beginning of the game. What? Nothing! Come on, give me some money. He likes money. They say money can't buy happiness. It can. Let's be honest, guys. Almost there now. I have stopped my questing for loot. Here we go. The get is locked. Lock games can be opened by completing a set number of events. So, okay, here we go. A patrolling coach ship has stumbled upon us. Man the guns, we owe them no mercy. Our first fired. Remember the lesson you've learned so far. Yes, I remember. Right, let's get people doing things right. You mount that sunshine. Oh, I should pause it. There we go. Handy dandy pause function there. Go on, grab it. There we go. Right, so we'll keep it at this way. I don't know if I can do that. Just weapon reloading. Yes, yes. Just target their ship. Once you've done it once, don't need to do it again. Why are you idle? You should be on that! Probably because it hasn't told me how yet. Oh, but I need to aim now. Bam! Have it! Oh, yes. Okay, this is the chain shotgun, but it won't let me do anything with it, so... Ay, 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 ay. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to go over here because I'm better at reloading the... See, that's being sensible. I'm thinking strategic-like stuff. We'll just have them ready around the repairs. We're okay at the moment. I pause the game, but yes, there you go. I pause it. There we go. Move on with your stupid tutorial. Once you dismiss this message, you should issue rewards with the game's pause. Make use of this. Yes. Yes, I'm going to the highlight icons, display skills, blah, 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 blah. I really should have taken this active pause. You can hover the mouse over any object in your space bar. Click active pause like this. All right, there we go. Unpause it. I was ahead of myself. Distance bar. Yeah, we can get closer. Good, good. Hey, now we got the chain shot. That's good. Off you go, lad. Take out their bloody cells and then we can get close and board them and do all sorts of things. Don't kill them first, we're making significant progress with our cannons. And we're not yet a fire or broken. See, they're moving away while we're moving towards, so it's not going well for us. But now the chain shot is up. We can knock out their cells. Reduce their maneuverability. There we go, we're coming closer now. Right, go do the swivel guns then because it's probably gonna make us. This is this is basically like a small cannon that works like a shotgun and just annihilates crew members. And look at this sailor job. Oh no, we're we're thinking -ing 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 -ing. Like a crazy frog tail through there. That's okay, go, go, go. Sort that out. No! Phone, stop listening to me. What you do? What you do? How? Like you, you can just back over into the cannon. Right, let's ram the enemy. I have to wait for that to fill up to be able to do that. 
Yeah, yeah, almost there. There we go. Right. Ram away. This will probably sink it. One moment, Captain. Actions like ramming cause a brace for impact test. Failing the test means crew fall to the deck, temporarily interrupting what they are doing. When a brace occurs, a highlight button becomes the active. Yeah, words. Press it in time, otherwise you will fail the test as it's your first time. We'll let you press the button now. Wow, well, fuck off. And the bones! We fell their brace at the impact. Even cause one of their crew to be knocked overboard. They can man the winch at the back of the ship to save them. If they don't make it in time, they will drown. Room winch is highlighted. If any of crew are in the water, be sure to man the winch to rescue them. Gotcha. Now finish them off. You can pull back and keep shooting the ranger. You can use board them. You can try it by killing all the enemy crew, destroying the hull, or making it take on too much water. Keep the pressure on the enemy. Dictate the battle and make sure they're reacting to you, excuse me, and not the other way around. Let's just keep shooting them. Oh, they're fucked. And they're all going to heal, but it does not matter. Well, they're busy healing, they can't shoot me. And they're dead. Dead, 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 ski. Down your guard to David Judge Locker. Gosh. Better you're able to savage anything about you. Uh, in this tutorial combat, the enemy did not react as aggressive as they would normally. No, they did not. So be prepared for a tough fight next time. And 22 monies. You don't need to worry about repairing your sections or healing your crew. That happens when man can be your battery exploration map. As long as you have water pumps going, battery exploration map will make it will empty the water gauge too. It's nice. Your hull damage does not repair itself much like FTL. Goes without saying. So leave combat. And now we can move through the gate. Now the gate is only free, left click on the water bridge to leave the explosion. What a bridge, Jesus. Oh look, this isn't FTL like either. Ha! Who cares though, FTL is a brilliant game. You know, it's a crew that you need to take stock and not to be deserved. In the captain's cabin, you find some clean clothes, most likely belonged to the poor previous occupant before the cult had their way with the ship. It feels good to finally be able your flowing ceremonial robes. You stow them neatly away, knowing they may yet have their use. Let's examine ourselves in the mirror. And now we can customize. Uh, so I want to be man, I want to be white, because I'm male and white, if that makes sense. And then we'll be Captain Ron. I think we'll go for an entire crew of Kurt Angle Kurt Angle? Kurt Russell characters. Kurt Angle, fuck it out. You re emerge on deck and the crew snap to We may have escaped. I'm talking like Lim Shadow now. You begin, but we are not yet safe. We must make port, then go to our separate ways. It, it's me thereafter. You return to your cabin and slumber chair. Moments later, a strong undercurrent of exhaustion pulls you into a deep sleep. Still loved and always in his thoughts, you were the first. But he knew something within you had changed. Thus you were marginalised, became a symbolic icon with no real power. You didn't care. Something in you was gaining strength, little by little. The fog was clearing. Sharp knock on your door snaps you awake. Moments later, you stride back on deck to issue commands. The cult fortress is far from inhabited lands. We need to navigate through open waters before we can find a port. Right, uh, looks like there is only one here. Uh, uh, I've got to review my ship. It's my ship! This is the lone ship for you. It allows you to change your default settings and we can use in combat. Alright, so I can. Put people in places and things, right? Well, me there, because I reloaded really good. Him there, because he reloaded really good. And you can go on the chain shot, which I may change to grape shot once their sails are knackered. Okay, and we would like, not extreme distance, but like around about there. It's been a nice reactive chance. So now we can save the crew positions. Boink! And they will start there forevermore. Oh, so you just click that and they go back to where they were. That's good to know. Hello, Bang, how do you press bring the ship about? This one. But you can perform from new boys free charge. Here you can set your preferred side to face it when you start about this. It's useful if you equip each side with different styles of weapons, such as one with short range and the other with longer range weapons. And yes, they all have their own damage bits as well, so that's good. Let's go back to the world. There we 
it yet. Let's continue trying to escape the cult by fleeing from, the, by fleeing from this exploration map. Locate the ace again and complete the required number of links to unlock. And away we go. Oh, money! There's always 22. What's a bitch gotta do to get 23? Hmm, that's a culty thing. It's no, that's not yet. Let's do the culty thing. A small speck on the horizon is moving. You sense the foul energies of the cult long before you confirm their flying colours. It's headed towards the cult fortress, so you doubt it has business tracking you down. Oh, phew, nothing. Right, let's have a look at area. It is that door. Right, I've got it four, all right? I've just done one, so three more. And that's where we'll end it for the day. I am done the second part of this, so if you enjoyed this, make sure you check back on Thursday to see the second part. And depending on how that goes and how many people watch it and like it and all that jazz, whether I carry on and do parts three upwards. It's a decent game. Um, it's not very much money. I think it's a sub 20 pounds. It is still in early access, so there will be improvements made to it. But yeah, it plays like FDL with pirates. Can't say fairer than that. Anyway, I've been leaving watching Overbike Gaming. Take it easy, guys.